Create your own acorn ink from nature's gifts. Discover the ancient art of making ink from acorns. Hello, my name is Jersey. I suggest you watch my other video, How I Made the Acorn Die First. Look up there, I'll leave the link and below this video. I'm going to use batch one. I'm not even gonna strain it. There's only a little bit of sediment in it. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And then I'm gonna simmer it for a few hours till it's reduced to about a half a cup. And then I'm gonna put it in the dehydrator and I'll film each process just to keep it short. Here's a one hour update. It's been one hour. It has reduced almost 50% so far. So I'm gonna let this simmer for another hour and then I will take another update. And here it is exactly another hour later, total of two hours. I just shut the heat off. This is what it has reduced down to. Could have let it go a little bit longer, but I'm going to actually pour it in a porcelain pan lined with the silicone sheet that I use for my dehydrator. Thought about it and not everybody has a dehydrator, so I'm going to give you an option as if you didn't have a dehydrator, how you could dry this. I like the silicone sheet, it peels right off. You don't have to line it, but I'm going to. It just makes it a lot easier. As you see, it did not squirt. Sometimes I'll leave it right in the bottom of the pan. Probably would have been more evenly distributed if I didn't put the liner in. Now it's a thick puddle, but I got it all out and nothing scorched. And I'm just gonna let this air dry and I will come back in a few hours. I'll document it as I go when it makes drastic changes and I'll let you know how long this actually took. Here it is the next day, about 12 hours later. I put it flat onto the sheet and I try to just thin it out a little bit so it will dry and crackle faster. And here it is several days later. I had to bring it in the house, we had frost. I have a little UV jar that I wrote acorn ink on it. You know when it's ready, when it starts falling apart like that. And you can just crunch it down and it will release most of it. You can use a spatula. What I like to do is get the largest part that's already loose into my jar. You may want to put another silicone mat underneath it to catch any that fall out. And let me finish scraping this in the jar. And when we get back, I'll show you how much we got. And there you have it. Doesn't look like a lot, but it is quite a bit, especially if you're only gonna be using it in watercolors. And I'm going to show you that next. I got this from the Dollar Tree. I started doing a little bit on the back to see what it looked like. I have a lot on this silicone mat that I'm not gonna be able to get up. So I've grabbed my water brush and you can either dip it in water if you don't have a water brush, or you can just squeeze it out a little bit like that. Make a little puddle. I'm gonna show you a few ways on the back. Now you can leave it really dark like that. You can dab some of it off like that. I'll use this probably for a few times. I'm not gonna waste all this ink that's on there. Also take a rag and literally wipe and blend it in. So that's where it was dabbed off. This is where it was wiped off. And then this will be where I leave it and I don't wipe or dab. So I left it none, wiped and dabbed. And this was for a dollar, or now it's a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I have a few different size brushes that I'm gonna do. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use acorn ink. And how nice it goes on. This works great on watercolor paper. And I want to thank to the person that asked me about this in my last video. It's been a while since I've made acorn ink. I do find that the water brushes really help, but you don't need it. You can just use a regular brush and dip in water. You can go darker in spots and then feather it out. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful this acorn ink is. And there you have it. 
I painted this whole picture in less than 15 minutes using acorn ink. And I did a little shading. I'm not really good at it, but I just wanted to show you how you can use the acorn ink on projects. Really, really nice. Non-toxic, all natural. Didn't take a really lot of time. And I believe it was worth it. This is something that I used to do all the time when I made cards with watercolor paper. Since I mentioned watercolor in paper and cards, I thought I'd quickly show you how I make these with watercolor paper. If you get the six by nine, you can just fold it in half and make yourself a nice size card, or you can get big sheets and stamp and paint a lot. Highly recommend if you're going to be using watercolor, you definitely need stays on ink. This way it won't bleed. I have tried other inks and they never work. This is the only ink I have ever used when using watercolor. So you just ink this up and I usually tap it first and I run it along and then I tap it again. So you put your lid immediately back on. Just rock it a little bit. By even pressure. They do make a stays on cleaner that you can clean it with right away. So this is pretty much ready to paint. This is my acorn ink. This will last me forever. I keep this for my acorn ink and my walnut hall ink. This is all I use it for, but it's still food. So you could use it for something else. I'm not even gonna fill this with water. I'm just gonna dip it in. And I have a piece of scrap wool. I like to do the darker sections first, because then I can dip in the water and then feather it up and out. See, there's very little on there now, and that's exactly what I want to do. It's light face and ears and tail and feet. And then you can come back in where it's really dark again, and you can keep feathering it out. Keep this video short, respect your time. Here's the one that I just did, and I used other watercolor. These are from Ikea. And then if you want, I call it a matchbook bottom. You can score the bottom, leave about an inch, score it, and this way it can stand like a matchbook. I used to send these to my mom and put a little sticker right there and then I would write her a note inside. She really liked those. And that's it, that's how easy that is. Leave me a comment below if you have ever used Acorn Ink or if you're going to. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please share on social media. Hit the subscribe button, all bell notification. And this is Jersey saying see you on the next video.